Analysts expect the more established member parties of Gabungan Rakyat Sabah, like AMNO, to resist any attempt to get the coalition registered. They say AMNO would not want to be tied down to any pact other than Barasa Nasional, which it leads. Awang Azman Pawi of University Malaya said if GRS is formalized, all the parties must obey the instructions of the coalition chairman, which is currently a Brikata Nasional representative. He said this will put AMNO at a disadvantage, because its bargaining power will be lost, adding that it would not allow itself to be trapped in this manner. Furthermore, AMNO does not want to compromise on seats with Basatu, Awang added. National Council of Professors fellow Janiri Amir said PBS would also have something to lose if GRS is formalized. The biggest hurdle would be in having to compromise in terms of seats, he told FMT. The parties in GRS are AMNO, PBS, Basatu, PAS, STAR, SAPP, Gurakan, PBRS, MCA, and MIC. The coalition's chairman is Chief Minister Hajiji No, who leads Sabah Basatu. Awang said GRS will be stronger if it becomes official, but those who will actually benefit are the newer and smaller parties, especially in terms of gaining more seats. Telefon baru percuma untuk semua. Pilih mana satu anda suka tanpa perlu kelulusan atau pendahuluan. Padangkan dengan pelan pasca bayar tanpa had terbaik kami.